Hey everyone, I'm Sophia the Style Hunter, and today I'm going to be talking about my review on Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. As you know, I said I did not like the first 30 pages it was one, but then picked up about page 40, and I really loved it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I really loved it. It was, um, very good and entertaining. I loved it. It was funny. It made me laugh at parts. I thought it was a really well done fantasy novel because some fantasy novels, there's just, there's something missing from it. And the way it ended, it, it left hope and I really liked that. And I'm excited to read the next one. I don't know when I'll read it, but I'll try to read it in the next couple of months. I have to wait till next year because I've really, um, overscheduled my books for this year. And, um, I'm already playing next year's books for January because I'm so OCD about this, which I don't know why I am. It's just because I love reading. But I loved it. It was really good. I feel like fantasy and um, romance. It was really good. Um, so, I am currently reading next. I'm currently reading Catching Fire by Susan Collins, and I love it. I'm about a little over 200 pages into it, and I really, really like it. Um, I've noticed things that are in here that weren't in the movie, like they're using ice to heal um, Gail's wounds, and then when she was talking to Peta about. Um, Everyone was talking about her and how people, they thought she was so pure and everything. So it's really, really good. I'm so excited to be reading it. I'm going to try to finish it by tomorrow and then I'm going to start Embrace. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. Something I've recognized as I read these is that, I mean, rereading The Hunger Games, because it's been like five years since I've read them, is that, um, I really loved Peter when I first read them, and I still love his character, but I kind of feel like his character's kind of a, just a dragging long character because in the first book he wasn't much of a fighter, he was just used, um, Katniss was his like life support, um, because their love is what gets them through, and obviously that's what's going to get them through the next two books as well, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I felt like he was, like, I loved his character at first, but I realized when I reread it that I was like, wow, his character isn't doing that much. He's just playing along with Katniss, you know, and she has a hard, she's having a hard time pretending to love him. She thinks she loves Gale. And, um, obviously her heart is still, w wants to be with him, but she has to, um, you know, President, she had the meeting with President Snow, and she has to, um, they, they have to get married to the act they really love each other. And I think, it, I mean, it's great that it got them alive because they didn't want either of them to die because I still love his character. I just realized how much of a kind of a stalemate his character was because he's not fighting. His fighting is, for, he loves Katniss, so it works for him. And she doesn't really feel the way about him yet. She doesn't know she does. And so it kind of makes him kind of draggy, but... Yeah, it's, um, I'm really excited to be reading it. This is my own copy that I bought with some graduation money, and so I'm really enjoying it. I wanted to get the other, actually, this was the set I wanted to get, but I didn't realize it till about a month after I bought it. This is not really cool. It's hardback. It's just black with just the symbols on them, and that's why I kind of thought these were, but they weren't. But I got the three-set paperback, um, at Walmart for $25, so it's a great deal. And it's just really good. So, I'm really excited to be reading this. Um, so, and then Embrace is another sci-fi novel, I mean, sci I mean, fantasy novel. And it's just really, really good and I really like it. I'm excited to read it. I was just adding the other books on my Goodreads and planning because um, I really over, I over planned. But what happened was I had Embrace on reserve and If I Stay and they both came in. And I was already going to start, I was going to start reading The Nightshades. And I was really excited about that because I found them earlier this year and I was really excited. Because like ever the past two years I thought, oh I'm not going to have enough to read and I actually did. So, yeah, it's not going to be a problem next year. I'm definitely not worried. Um, and I bought a bunch of books this this past couple months and I just got two more new books for my birthday. Like The Fifth Way by Rick Yancey and Miss Peregrine was Home for Peculiar Children, which I have read both of them. And I love the first one way better than the second one. So I'm really excited to reread those. And there's like an extra interview with Ransom Riggs. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like it, if, like it if you enjoyed it. And post your comments below. Bye.